I'm at Claytonium's house on Memorial Day weekend. And I'm gonna go ahead and be installing the last fit turn signal LEDs. Get it on the sun so you guys, there we go. So these have the, no, the I guess the flasher resistor inside of them. So they won't do hyper flash. So DC 12 volts, CAN bus ready, new LED technology. Much brighter than halogen, US customer support. Alrighty then. So we're gonna be installing these on the OEM HID Celica headlights. These do need a little bit of polishing, but I'll get to that right now. But I'm just gonna go ahead and install these real quick since it's really easy. Obviously first step, clean interior. I haven't had this interior cleaned up in a while. Where's the latch at? Oh no. All right, there it goes. Dirty, dirty, dirty bay. All right, so incredibly easy to get to the silica ones. Oh, let me go ahead and give you guys a before, I guess we can say. Let's see if the video picks it up. Kind of dim, kind of crappy, kind of boring. <laughs> I guess I could do this. So really simple. These just twist off. It's already a little warm. Let's see if they even fit the housing. Already outside of the housing, it's brighter. Let's see if it fits. <laughs> Man, that is bright. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm gonna need to put the this in like that before I plug it in. Will it fit? Oh my god, it does fit. Oh beautiful. Dude, that is so much brighter. That is a billion times brighter. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. If this already looks brighter in the daylight, like imagine at night. Wow. So before I give or before I don't say this, because I actually had to kind of force it in. It didn't really work out of the box. So I haven't. There's an issue, though with this this one's hot i'm gonna let it cool down for a bit but if you look at this you can see the the little notches right here they're not parallel to each other they're kind of offset you can see and the ones with the last fit they're parallel or i guess you know in the straight line so in order for it to make it work in the housing or in the adapter, I kind of had to force it in, but forced in, it had a, it, it wouldn't come out easy. So it, it's gonna stay in there, but you kind of have to force it in. I don't think they have a different, they, they don't have a different style. I'm gonna have to double check, but I think, I don't think I ordered the wrong one because I searched by vehicle and these shouldn't matter different wise from the, from the regular halogen non-projector HID headlights from the HID headlights. They should be the same. And I looked it up by vehicle and they offered me these. So just a little thing I, I wanna tell you guys before you go out and buy these and see like, oh crap, they don't fit. So this is what I'm talking about guys. Um, you see how this one kinda twist off really easy? Well, you can kinda see like these tabs. Oh, I gotta drop this bulb, it's hot. You see how these tabs don't line up. None of these are straight. None of them are straight. So when I try to put this in, it won't line up with anything. It won't line up. So because this, this notch has to go in here for the ground, because I believe the middle middle one right there is um, 12 volt, and then this one's ground. I, all what I did was I kind of forced it in. So 
You might hear a little bit of cracking, but <laughs> it should still work. There you go. It's already in. See how it doesn't have an easy time coming out? So it's stuck in there. It ain't coming out. Cool. Very, very bright. Worth all the $36 I spent. <laughs> Turn signals though, yeah, these I'd recommend. 